Hi, this is Karen Rudell, and in this Jing screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to actually create a link from your Blackboard class to your iTunes U course where students will be able to find those files. So we're assuming at this point you've already enabled iTunes U in your Blackboard class and that you've gone into iTunes U, um, as you can see here, and you've gone ahead and used the Upload and Manage Files button to upload at least one file into your course. Again, your course title is here. So go back to your Blackboard class and go into an appropriate content area. So for instance, I'm going into Course Documents here. And then what I'm going to do is add an interactive tool. So under Interactive Tool, I'm going to choose iTunes U Link. And um, I'll give my link a title, um, video for class one. I could put some instructions here. And uh, the options are that it's an active link. I could constrain it um, by date if I wanted to. I'm going to choose not to. And then I'm going to hit Submit. I get immediate response back that the iTunes U link has been created. So if I go back to my course here, um, I see the link. And if I click on this link, what will happen is um, a new window will open up. It's contacting Blackboard. Um, it's going to redirect to the iTunes U site and open up iTunes U uh, for the students. So the next thing that'll happen, you may see a quick, brief um, re, um, sort of pointing, repointing the link to a new place uh, message flash across the screen. And then uh, the student will be faced with iTunes. So they will need to have iTunes on their computer as well. Um, and you'll be able to see all of the files that have been linked, to, that have been uploaded for your particular class. It's not possible for you to create a link in Blackboard to go to a specific file. So it's important in your Blackboard link back here that in the description or in the link itself, you specify the exact name of the file that you want a student to um, either watch or listen to or download and read. So it's important that you are specific, especially if you end up with more than one file uploaded in your iTunes use site.